So we're live from the Bacchus collection. We'll take a look at the art soon. And this, so this is a collector's legacy. This is a coin, the catalog for the coin exhibition. Okay. This is another example of what we do, which was an exhibition that we did last year about Robert Blackburn, major, uh, you know, artist, major, project. worked with most important artists, American artists, during the 60s, 70s, and, but he never got his own name and mm -hmm. background, you know, and well, and his own work well documented. So we did a show, uh, the largest we ever had, of 104 pieces, and this is the largest catalog we ever made, 104 pages. But now, this catalog is available at the Library of Congress, it's available at mm -hmm. other museums and libraries. We try to send um, at least one copy to libraries at historically black universities mm -hmm. and Fantastic. colleges, so at least there will be something available. Hey guys, if you've got any questions that you would like to ask during you know, this is a rare opportunity. We're live at the uh, David C. Driscoll Center looking at the Bacchus Collection. Please. Uh, type in your questions and we will ask. So I'm going to take you around the exhibition so you can see some of the works. This is a piece by Hill Woodruff titled Floor Still Life. We've got an additional Hill Woodruff here. Amazing collection. Alma Thomas, that's a uh, uh, 54, that's going to be prior to um, uh, the, the color fill uh, uh, pieces that she would do later. And Tangsley. Looks like we've got a Norman Lewis. Oh, no, that's actually uh, Danny Simmons' work. Uh, uh, but good company. Yeah. Danny Simmons. So as I take you around, again, with um, Black Art in America broadcasting live from the Davis C. Driscoll Center. This is a Preston Sampson. Uh, Preston's out of the D.C. area. This is one of my favorite photographs. We've seen seen this in a number of books, but P.H. Polk, please uh, become familiar with him if you're not. A lot of people think about Van Disease, uh, but Polk was really a phenomenal uh, uh, photographer as well. William Page, this is a, a, a Martha Moore. I don't know if you can really get a sense of that one. Jake Lawrence. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit to kind of give you a taste of some highlights from the show and give you a sense of what's all in the, the exhibition. Again, it's Najee Black Art in America. This is a Lois May Lou Jones. That's a beautiful piece. Lois May Lou Jones. It's titled uh, Farm, Martha's Vineyard, 1942. Oh. Look at this one here. Now, Fred Jones, many of you are not familiar with Fred Jones, but Fred Jones was an artist. I believe Fred was born in 1914, one of my favorite. Uh, not well known to a lot of, to the, uh, a large audience of people who uh, collect African-American art, but for a number of collectors that are very familiar with Fred Jones' work. From South Carolina, I believe his family moved to Atlanta. His dad was a pharmacist. He was working at Coca-Cola and one of the, the VPs in, at Coke uh, came across his sketchbook and said, listen, we need to transfer you to the Chicago office. And uh, they paid for his schooling at the Art Institute of Chicago. Uh, Fred Jones would take, take advantage of that and also spend a lot of time at the Southside Community Arts Center with artists like Charles White, uh, Margaret Burroughs. Uh, when he joined the Navy, he was, um, uh, became good friends with like Huey Lee Smiths, but Fred Jones is one of my favorite artists. Um, so many of you may not may be seeing this work for the first time. Here it is right here. It's the title, Collector's Legacy, selections from the Sandra, Sandra and Lord Bacchus collection. Now this is a beautiful Aaron Douglas. Uh, look at that. Self-portrait, 1945. So Louis Del out of the, Louis is out of Atlanta. That's a beautiful Delaney. 
Joseph Delaney, his brother. Okay. Are y'all enjoying this tour? Come on now. Say something. This is Meta Warp Fuller. I don't know if you guys can really see that. But again, we're coming live to you from the uh, David C. Driscoll Center. This is Kevin Cole. Titled Chocolate Covered Dreams. Clark Clark. Ezra Couture. You know, Mr. Couture just recently celebrated 99 years. Um, and he may have had another birthday, so that's a couture. Uh, here's a beautiful quote. Again, for those that can't make it to the David C. Driscoll Center, you get a nice tour. This has to be my man, John Biggers. And it is, it's, it's actually untitled. Untitled John Biggers and Phoebe Beasley. Kind of get a feel for that highly texture. Can you see that? So anyway, it's a beard and collage. And a Charles Austin, again. This is the uh, David C. Driscoll Center. Make your way up here if you have the opportunity. Thanks for tuning in. And we will be uh, giving you more access. Peace.